Um, so who here is comfortable taking care of women with an acute DVT or PE that's stable? Wonderful. A couple of hands raised. That's awesome. So at the end of this lecture, I'm hoping that um, this is not something that will scare anyone in this room. Um, I've found in my practice as an MFM that I have a lot of um, partners, um, general obstetricians, who are just not comfortable with, with rhombophilia. Um, you, they, you just hear the word Lovenox and you're like, MFM, please. But that probably should not be the case, all right? So give me 20 minutes. I'm hoping that we can get some headway, but I will try. If you can, um, have a piece of paper and pen, and I'm hoping that at the end of this lecture, you'll be able to do a couple of things. You'll be able to kind of have the clotting cascade in your mind. That's a tall order, right? Um, describe the various inherited thrombophilias and outcomes associated with pregnancy, as well as describe the general principles of anticoagulation management. So I still have no financial conflict of interest over the past two hours, um, but I do have an interest in first class seating in an airplane. <laughs> so I came from Minnesota yesterday, a three hour flight, and this was on the brochure first class and economy class. So it's not really because of the alcohol or the free food that you'll get, but look at the life jackets. When you're in first class, it's not bound to anything, but if you're in economy class, you have to pull. So for that reason alone, I would like a first class seat, please. <laughs> but this was just yesterday, I promise. It's on my phone, I have the date and the time that I took the picture. So if you think about, um, blood clots, right, used to be known as economy class syndrome, probably a marketing scheme for airlines so all of us would want a first class seat, right? But if you want to think about that in the context of pregnancy, right, it's actually very nice to be able to clot easily when you're pregnant. It's a beautiful physiologic mechanism. Remember when you have the pregnancy in planning, you can hemorrhage, right, but you don't most cases. When you deliver, the placenta delivers after the baby, you can hemorrhage, but in most cases, you don't. I'm not looking at the men, sorry. I'm just looking at the females. Um, but that's, that's just the beautiful physiologic process of pregnancy where you have increased coagulation potential, decreased fibrinolysis, right? And all of that is supposed to help you, but it doesn't if you have an inherited thrombophilia.